Hi, and welcome to Speed and Science. This is Mark, and Hello. my name is Udo. Mark, today we have going to film episode 11, mm -hmm. Making of the Port, a.k.a. Horsepower 101. There's a joke in the industry, Mark. They say that uh, motorcycle racing started when the second motorcycle was built. <laughs> it's pretty... Pretty obvious. Pretty, pretty, pretty <laughs> obvious, yeah. There's a never-ending quest for horsepower in this industry and in technology to drive that horsepower forward. Every engine builder's got a little bit of a secret when they, when they put their engines together in order to increase the horsepower. I'm just wondering, Mark, do you think we want to reveal a few trade secrets of our own? Sure, we can. Um, basically, power equals efficiency. Um, now, engine's efficiency can be improved on a uh, visible and invisible level. Now, visible items are easy to deal with um, because it's all mechanical, right? Things you can basically see and touch and fit together and assemble and make sure it work. Invisible uh, matters are a little bit more difficult to, to deal with because it involves uh, airflow, basically st stuff you can't see. Right. Now, the idea is to push a certain amount of air uh, with the maximum possible velocity uh, through the intake system, uh, mix it with gas along the way, and then burn it in a quick and clean process, and then expel the leftovers uh, through the exhaust. That sounds really easy in theory, but how do we deal with that in the real world, Mark? <laughs> well, let me start off with this. Air does not cooperate at all. Uh, we can model, we can analyze, we can predict all we want, but um, in the end it all comes down to the lengthy uh, process of trial and error. Um, the most, most common uh, process is, or most common method is trying different uh, intake and exhaust uh, right. port shapes on the flow bench. And then, you know, you select something that works. Right. Um, the shape changes are usually made with the uh, modeling clay or, or something like that, uh, which is all good, but uh, reproducing uh, the desired shape uh, accurately might be a problem. I mean, uh, how do you copy something that's inside the port? Um, you know, there's curves and, and, and it's, it's really not, not, not accessible. Uh, most people end up cutting the heads uh, into sections, but we've come with something better. One of the most important parts in a headset development is an airflow testing on a, on a flow bench. Um, to do that, you need, uh, well, the flow bench, of course, and, uh, and a headset or prototype of a headset. Now, different companies, they approach this uh, process differently. What we do, we start off with the block of aluminum. We machine um, the critical features in it, being uh, a combustion chamber and, uh, and the ports intake and exhaust but uh, the way we do it and that's what makes it different uh, we split the ports so basically yeah this is an insert uh, representing a bottom of a port uh, in this case intake and an exhaust and they can be removed and, and replaced and uh, you know the perfect fit and they are uh, airtight um, the reason we do this, well, there's a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, it makes modifications, uh, adding or removing material as needed, very, very easy. Instead of reaching inside the long, complicated curved port with the air grinder, we just simply pull the insert and uh, we modify it as, as need be. And again, it's a quick quick and easy process. Uh, in this case, yeah, we can grind off, you know, certain areas, uh, top or, or, or a bottom of a port. We can also add material uh, as, as need be and, and, and test it and see what it does. And uh, we can have, you know, several inserts pre-machined and, and, and test them and, and compare the results. It's a very, very quick process. And also uh, scanning back the changes and, and, and uh, inputting the changes back in the computer is also easy. Uh, all we need to do is basically scan um, the insert and uh, scan uh, the, the big block and, and overlay it on the computer and it's a perfect, perfect fit. Mark, that makes a lot of sense and it surely produces a true copy of what we're, what we're building today. The customers 
get the best every time from yep. Speed and Science. Yep. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, give us the thumbs up and click the like button below. We'll see you on the next episode.